Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are currently going to rescue these guys who are idle up here right now. That is of course somewhat problematic and uh, sure we'll gain 15 popularity. That is going to put us potentially in a civil war here. I'm not sure if that's real or not though. We could put someone into this navy for right now and that'll reset it. Okay, so that is real then. Good to know. I, I, I just realized is real <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay so who's the actual problem here so that would be Mosh Herkanos that's this guy and that's not really a problem we'll just bribe him that seems good do we have a CB on Upper Egypt because I would like to get one if we do not and we do we can take Azut okay that sounds good so we're going to fully annex Upper Egypt is the goal, but for now, these guys are down here building road, and that is okay. A slanderer? Very rude. We're going to get some gold from him. That seems good. And then we're going to get this navy force up over here. It'll arrive eventually. And these guys are very slowly on their way over to meet up with this. Okay. So that sounds good for now. We're just going to grab these guys, and then I plan on bringing them down to be able to fight Upper Egypt, which is not Upper Egypt. We're fighting Upper Egypt. There's no confusion at all. Perfect. So we're just going to hop down over here somewhere, maybe even just sitting here. I do want to attack them quite soon here. We're on 23.81 AE right now, and we should be fine to get that going. So let's put these guys embarked. And let's head right on down to Bethony. Or I guess Bethony. Perfect. That will be fine. Okay, so these guys, they're going to finish their roads eventually, but it is going to take them a little bit there. That is fine. Do we have any mines or slave estates to build? I should say farming settlements. The answer is yes, we have a number of them and we're going to build all of these. Perfect. So we'll get all of that underway. That'll get a lot more production out of this area. We can also think about getting rid of some of these forts. This isn't necessarily one of them that we can think about right now, although I'd still like to do it. We are too disloyal here though, so that's unfortunate. I think we're going to come back to this. Well, no, I don't think that. I think that we should get rid of every single fort that is down here right now. So those are going to go away. This is definitely going to go away. This fort can cease to exist. This fort can cease to exist. And it would be something kind of like that. This fort has to remain because of the loyalty. This fort can be removed. I think we'll remove that after Upper Egypt ceases to exist. So that'll be the idea here. Okay, so we don't have any colonization that is ready to be done right now, but we might actually have an additional mine and or farming settlement to be built here. Yeah, we got a couple. So that's great. Those are locations that there were previously forts. Three stability or 2,100 gold. Honestly, the stability is more valuable to us. Gold isn't that big of a problem at this point. Honestly, spending the gold is the bigger problem now. So we're going to head down to Temsi. And as soon as we arrive there, we're basically ready to declare on Upper Egypt here. And that's going to give us the entirety of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, except for maybe a little bit that Carthage took up over here. And I mean, there's this that Macedon took, but I'm not too concerned about that. That's not like the core territory of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, right? So it is absolutely wonderful to have absorbed those. We will be done absorbing them very shortly. So first things first, we can declare war here. They have no allies and we can just head right on in. So we're going to declare this war. That is going to mean that we lose a little bit less aggressive expansion, and that's absolutely understood. But let's head right on in here. So they have a fort here, here, here. That's a number of forts. Okay. Well, we've got a bunch of vassals that are gonna run around and do stuff. So that seems wonderful. Of course, this is our fort. And let's head on down and see about relieving this siege. That's the current mission. 
So if we can relieve this siege and then siege this, that'll be big for us. This is going to be taken by our vassal, no problem. And of course, down over here, these guys are going to finish up their roads eventually, and we'll see if we want them to head up this direction and attack from the south. We probably don't need them, though. I'm surprised they let us catch them here. But okay. So we did not stack wipe them, but we did capture their leader. Let's see if they're retreating to their capital here. No, they're retreating beyond it. Okay, that's fine. We can't push beyond this at this moment, but that is absolutely no problem. Cool. So let's get Upper Egypt fully under our control here. This siege is going to take a little bit, and our vassal... I would like it if they'd cap this. And then all of them just pile in up here and start sieging here. Would be ideal. I don't think that's what they're going to do. No, that's definitely not what they're going to do. But they do have this force pinned in, which is nice. Okay. Are we done building our road yet? Not quite yet. And we can invite this guy to an exclusive banquet. That's okay. So they're regenerating their morale, but I'm really not too concerned about it. They could probably head out this direction and then attack out over here. They could get to this fort, and then up over here they could cross over this way and go make a run at our capital, I suppose. So that would be potentially problematic if they did that. We'll see if that ends up happening. I'd be a little surprised if they went for that. It would be um, <laughs> very gutsy, no doubt about that. It sounds like the kind of thing I might try, actually. Just... Take a path right up over here, hit the capital, take this, and try to force a peace. I mean, you can't fight them, so why not? Right? It would definitely be the kind of thing I would try to do in this situation. But that's not what they're attempting to do. They're just chilling over here right now. Actually, I'm not sure where they went. We should be able to see them if they're here. Where could they have gone? That's interesting. I'm not sure where their army went. They couldn't have disbanded it if it was levies. I'm not sure if that was levies or if that was a professional army. But okay, we'll, make, we'll bring our second army up. This is, of course, going to, be, going to be coming up on the road, so no problem there. And we're just waiting on these sieges at this point. Their army vanished. It may have been mercs. It may have been a professional army. Those would have been able to be disbanded, I believe under certain circumstances anyway. Yeah, so you can disband a professional army while at war. It could have been a merc, but if it was levies, they should still be sitting here. I didn't look to see what they were. I'd have to go back in the video and check, which probably isn't going to happen at this point, but what? They're here. Right. They would be able to do that because they were here, they would move to here, and we would not be able to see them here or here. For some reason, I was thinking that this province, or rather that this, uh, this territory here, extended down to here. That these two were one, but no, they're not. That makes sense. Okay, it was a visibility rule issue. Cool. So that is fine. They can come up here and go for this fort, but that won't get them anything. Like, that's really not relevant. I'm not sure why they're doing that. This is a levy, and this is a legion. So this is disbandable. This is not. Okay. Well, let's wrap up this down here, and then we're going to come take over the siege from every vassal. Okay. There, there's a lot of them there. And we're going to come take that over. This siege will end eventually. We are so far ahead of these guys. So that sounds wonderful. And this war will be over very short. We just need to get through these sieges. And that is the reason why we're putting so much tech into our siege progress here. We need a lot more. Siege ramps would have saved us a lot of attrition here. <laughs> Look at that. We lost like 10k to attrition. That's fine. We're going to head up over this way. This is capped now. There's not much they can do about this. So we're going to go relieve this siege. And then if we...
we can. Ooh, Alexander's Legacy. Ooh. Minus 25% aggressive expansion impact for 20 years. I like it. That seems magnificent. So we're relieving the siege here. We're going to need to take this capital. We're going to need to take this fort. However, this just fell. That was quick. I like it. Let's head on down and wrap this up. There's very little left to do here. Then we're going to be able to delete forts out over this way. So I'm going to wait until the war is over. It's a little bit early still to do it right now, but uh, that is definitely something that's going to be happening. Okay. Why aren't we capping this? Is this owned by Upper Egypt as opposed to Upper Egypt? No. It's already occupied by us, apparently. It sure doesn't look like it. Sure. Well, let's head around and deal with these guys then. They're kind of pinned in here. And if we can get around this way, then that would be magnificent. We're attacking them this route, but that doesn't really matter. They don't have the morale. Okay. I have no idea where they're retreating to. I guess down here. This siege is now won, so we're going to chase them this way. And these guys, we're going to bring them back up to their navy. They need to regenerate. So that is absolutely something that needs to happen. They took a lot of attrition from the fort over here. So auto capping is happening down this way. I want to chase these guys. Uh, sure. We will offer sanctuary to everyone. Mostly because we need lots of wife options, apparently. That's apparently a significant issue, which is remarkable for an empire with uh, 15,000 pops currently. Okay, so this war is over, and we're going to take everything. This is actually not going to be that much aggressive expansion. I'm just looking at how much that's going to be. That's remarkably low. 14 aggressive expansion. I love it. Do it. So we're going to lose half a point of AE there. And then these guys, I'm going to move them back to Jerusalem. And where's their fleet at? Down here? Yeah, here they are. Okay, so we're going to group those together and let's put these back up over here. Excellent. And now we're just waiting for these lads to show back up over here. Cool. So we have a zeal perk available and pop conversion and assimilation speed. Yes, please. That'll be phenomenal. And of course, we can get rid of our forts throughout this area. So we're going to do exactly that. We do not need a single one of these forts. If enemies start running around in our territory, we're going to have problems. The idea is that we prevent them from running around in our territory by always being the aggressor. That's the idea here. We don't want to be the, the defender when we're this size. Unfortunately, we can't remove these fort this fortress here. It's still not loyal enough. It'll get there eventually, but as of right now, that's not an option. So I'm just checking through the rest of Arabia here quick. Yeah, these forts are fine. I want to keep those there for the moment. This fort is a good choke point. I'm still okay with that one. Do we want these forts in Memphis? The answer is no. And we're going to put in a bunch of tax offices instead. Excellent. Up over this way, I think forts against Carthage are still useful. And of course, I want these guys to not actually go north just yet. Cool. So we're going to hop down over here and we're going to build some roads. Okay, so I want you to build road and we're going to head down like this. Then I want to make sure there's a connection like that. That'll be fine. A connection over here is just kind of natural. But we can also do this and then head up this direction. So we would want a triangle structure here. This would connect in down something like that. A connection here would make sense. And then we would come up this side of the Nile here, connecting in something kind of like that. There's a natural crossing here, so we will get that going. Head down 
this direction and connect it in here. Then down over this way. All of that would connect up over like so. A connection here. I do think a connection back here makes a lot of sense. And then up this direction. Natural crossing here. And that would connect there. Okay. There's already road out over here. I just wanted to make sure that was connected up. And then we come down this direction. And we need to follow this natural crossing and just connect down through like that. That would be the road path. Yeah, that's going to take a while to build, but that is fine. They can be at that for now. So here, we are taking attrition. I want to embark them. And we are going to sail up to here. Now, where's that fleet at? They're here currently. Okay, I'm going to put them in the port. So that looks good for now. I do want to build mines and farming settlements. We do have a number of those that we'll be able to put in. In fact, quite a large number. Excellent. We'll get all of that developed up nice and quickly. Perfect. And then we could start thinking about filling in some of these with, you know, like, just slave estates or whatever. It's not going to be significant. So I probably am not going to bother with that for the time being. Yeah, probably not. The slaves of Gabal are revolting. I mean, I agree with that. They're very revolting. This rebellion will be crushed. Luckily, we have our soldiers right here. So we're just going to head on up there and eliminate them with no problem whatsoever. We're basically right here. Are we going to swap positions? No, we're going to fight there. Okay, so we beat them. But we didn't stack wipe them. Let's beat them again now that they have absolutely no morale. And yeah, they're, they're just gone. Fantastic. So that slave rebellion is dealt with. Perfect. So we're going to head back to Jerusalem here. And let's get these guys drilling. There we go. Now, of course, we can spend money on cities. That's a very simple thing to do. We can definitely invest our money in this way. So down here, we would need a tavern. Sure, that seems fine. Here we're maxed. Here we're maxed still. What do we need here? This would just be a tax office. Okay. Here we could definitely put in a forum. This needs a lot of work here. Okay, so this would be a Freeman city, which is also kind of a slave city. And we're just going to do something kind of like that. There we go. That looks good. We've got 479 gold still. So we'll put in a tavern over here. What's in this city? Yeah, this looks decent. We could definitely put in a tavern there. Five stability. I mean, sure, we'll take the stability. That seems fine. We do have a fair amount of aggressive expansion at this moment, which is not not surprising. That that tends to happen a while. Or rather, that tends to happen fairly frequently. We produce pearls here. Okay. We'll put in a foundry, and I'm a little concerned about our funding, considering we are doing road build down over here. So I'm not going to get too much else building right now. We'll just save up our money a little bit. And, I mean, that's a lot of construction. No doubt about that. That's going to be a bit. Cool. So that is the Ptolemaic Kingdom at this point, basically fully under our control. And the next idea here is that we're going to be interested in taking the Anatolian territory of Macedon. So the question is, where do we draw the line? And that would probably be in the Hellespontus Sea here. Is my guess. We would consider this to be an outcropping of Greece. This over here we wouldn't necessarily be interested in, although Byzantium would be interesting to take. It's not very large in this era, to be clear. Byzantium is not... It has not been developed very much. So that is, in this era, not the largest of priorities. Now, we are at 28 aggressive expansion right now, and we should probably let that drop down to at, at most 10. Like, we would like it to go a little lower than that, so that probably means at least an episode of chilling is my guess. 
because it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, basically eleven states, right? That's going to be significant in terms of aggressive expansion. That might be too much. We might not be able to take that all in one war. Let alone also vassalize Macedon, which is the idea I want to point out. I, I want to remind everyone of that. By the way, Arados, back under control. So that's wonderful. Do we want to remove any forts up here? It's an interesting question. I think for the moment I'm going to go with no on that. So with Arados having been taken over, it looks like we did get the mines and farming settlements accidentally. That seems wonderful. What's our pop at now? 15,885. Compare that with China, who has expanded a lot and is continuing to head this way. China's at 14,790, and Timilacom is at 11,713. Rome is at 85,17. So Carthage is at 3,466. Okay, so we're absolutely the big boys at this point. Which is kind of wild, to, to be honest. I, I didn't expect that to happen. That's insane. But if we tried to fight China or Tamilakam, things would be awkward for us. Because they're going to have a trillion tiny little armies. And we would struggle to deal with that. So we would prefer not to fight them. We'd rather expand out this direction and expand to the west, taking over territory out here and maintaining buffers between us and the bigger guys. So like Gera here would be a decent buffer at this point. It's definitely an interesting thing to think about. Well, we'll see what that ends up looking like later on. So out over here, we do have this one city. It produces dates. Okay. Well, I guess we can get a couple of mills going here. We can build a slave trader and a few taverns. That gets that capped out. Do we have any other cities up over this way? We actually do. This produces salt. Okay, that seems absolutely fine. We can get a few mills built in here. We've got three courts of law for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm going to get rid of those. So that seems good. We're going to then put in a single slave trader. We're a little concerned about our funding right now, but let's get Aster activated. Get some conversion going there. And we can put in an additional slave trader and then taverns. Okay, so I'm going to wait until we get another month tick here before we get this tavern queued up. We need the gold. Right about now. And there we go. Cool. So there's another city built up. Absolutely wonderful. Low food supply out over here and dropping. Low food supply and dropping. So there's no import route here. Auto trade is probably disabled as it is for these new provinces. So we should definitely enable auto trade in the new provinces. And food is absolutely going to be a concern in some of them. We'll get there. I think, honestly, in a lot of these, food will no longer be a concern once we get these farming settlements built. And they're getting very close. So Eastern Desert out over here. Well, we're just not importing anything. So we could import some food here very easily. How much do we need? Yeah, that would be enough. And then Eastern Desert is positive and North Phoenicia is positive. Perfect. So that looks good. Neither of those should have any food issues for the moment anyway. So that should be fine. When is Upper Egypt going to be integrated? 14 years? Okay. So that's going to take a little while. Sure, we'll gain six stability for 10 political influence. That sounds great. So we, are we still currently having too many relations? No, that's because we annexed Arados. So that absolutely needs to be worked on. We need to continue to annex some of these because we're going to want new vassals soon enough. So for right now, I would like to send a gift to these guys. 
And that is great. As soon as we can, 3 September, we can start integrating them. And that's what we're going to do. So, we're just waiting a couple more days on that. There we go. Start integration. Perfect. So we no longer need to be improving relations here, but we may as well continue to. There's no reason not to in this game. It's not like Europa where you need diplomats. So that seems fine. And both of these eventually will be ready to be integrated as well, but we're not quite there yet. Parfara will actually be done fairly soon. In four years. Okay, noted. More prosperity. Fantastic. We are at 81 stability right now. That's nuts. I like it. At any rate, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to probably chill for a bit. Let our aggressive expansion drop a bit. Integrate some of these vassals. But then we need to start thinking, oh my, they formed a new nation. Okay. Sure. We need to start thinking about buffer states against some of these guys. They're getting pretty close. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.